Hello everyone, and welcome to this second episode of my Football Manager career mode. Um, I just wanted to, well, I'm going to ignore the gameplay for a minute in the background, because as you may have noticed, this isn't live. You know, the keen listener and seer, that's not even the right word, of this video may have noticed that I'm not actually, uh, you know, doing a live commentary. But um, that's because I actually film this gameplay at like 4am in the morning. So, you know, whatever. Um, but I just want to first of all get clear why I haven't uploaded much in the past month or so. This is because... Personally, I haven't really been motivated enough to do YouTube. And it's got nothing to do with you guys at all. It's just I haven't really felt motivated enough to do YouTube and that's why I haven't really released any videos but you may have seen the Minecraft video go out the other day, I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, you may have seen the channel trailer as well, I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, I haven't really made trailers before so it was kind of like a new thing for me. But um, anyway, as you can see here I'm looking at Simone Scuffit for a goalkeeper because I think personally if we're going to get promoted to the Premier League we do need a better goalkeeper than what we have at the mo moment I think it's Button um, but uh, you know and that guy as well I was looking at and I decided to well I was going to offer him a trial but then I noticed that you know it's quite good it's better than most of our defenders anyway so I thought why not give him a trial yeah. Um, now, scuff it. I was actually surprised at how, you know, sort of not bad, but how, and it, how, uh, what's the word? Um, an experienced is that the word? I don't know. But he was he was very low rated, you know, in terms of FIFA. Let's just say. But this is a FIFA, and this kind of does stuff differently to FIFA. Now, some of you may be wondering, why have you got the app here on loan? Now, you, you'll see, I, I think it's in this episode, or it's the next episode, I can't remember, but you'll see a, a pre-season friendly after this, and he hits an absolute belter. No word of a lie. Absolute belter of a shot. And it's just, the, not even the game could keep up with it, it was that quick. I mean, the camera guy was just like, whoa, whatever, <laughs> you know, um, and it was just, it was amazing. Now, Bristol City here, being a bit greedy, as they are, what well, they aren't, but, you know, they wanted a bit too much for this player for my liking, and I thought, well, it was going like a 1.8, or 1.6, I couldn't really tell what I put there. Um, they, just, they decided, no, we can't, we can't be able to do that, it's not, not, not big enough sum, and I thought, wow. That's really greedy. So then I decided to try and look for James Wilson, who's of course a young Man United forward, who is probably an upcoming talent, I would say. I mean, he's pretty good. I mean, he's been injured in real life most of the season. But, I mean, he's, he can be pretty good when he wants to be. And I thought I'm going to go him in for him, but then I thought he might be out of my price range, you know, with... The, the loan bit and the um, the sort of uh, the wage budget thing because knowing Man United they'll, they'll want 100% wages over the season and I probably won't be able to afford that but um, you may have noticed that I went for looking for staff now I thought I was being a bit of a derp to be honest I thought I didn't have an assistant manager I know <laughs> it's a bit of a derp in it but, um, you know, it's, I thought, you know, I don't have, this. Then, I, then I noticed that I did have one, I just wasn't being very eagle-eyed enough, because bearing in mind, it was 4am, um, and I, I thought, you know, why, why not record some gameplay for you guys, uh, and I just, here's the fixture, by the way, we have, who did we have? We have Charlton first, then we have Bournemouth, Blackpool, Birmingham, and 
Rotherham as our first couple of games. This should be an interesting start to the season. Um, you know, hoping to get some, hoping to get maximum points as you do in every single game. But I'm hoping to get at least, I don't know, half points maybe. You know, a win against Charlton might might help. And I'm, I mean, uh, Bournemouth are going to be tough because they're going to be fighting promotion as well with us. So it's. <sighs> I don't really know, to be honest. I mean, from this this season, I'm expecting to get into the playoffs at least. I mean, I know it's a bit high, but considering what the real-life Brentford team did this season, and they're in the playoffs, and, I mean, they've already lost in the first leg of the playoffs to Middlesbrough, but they got into the playoffs. So, hoping to replicate that in the game, obviously. And, um... You know, lo looking through the transfers here, um, I was I, I was trying to find a defender because I thought I didn't have many defenders. So I looked at Paul Downing, who's you know quite good. I mean, I mean, look at those stats. Um, and then I, I just I wasn't really looking for anyone in particular. Really, I was just scrolling through, looking to see if there was anyone good enough to be in the championship. I mean, I could have probably loaned someone from the Premier League. I mean, I don't know, but at the time, I was looking for someone in the championship because, you know, they're, they're of a similar ability and I know that they can play in the championship and, you know, good enough for the championship because they're playing for the championship side. Um, and I was I was looking, I did look at Joe Dodgen and I, I, did, I decided to get a scout report on him because, you know, He's pretty. Uh, he's also transfer listed and listed for loan as well. And I, I also noticed that he's he's listed for transfer. Um, but fortunately, left we did win in that pre-season friendly. I think did we? I can't remember. Um, and here's some just you know pre-season stuff that you've just got to get through really. Um, doing with the uh, pitch sizes. Now, of course, if we get promoted to the Premier League, we won't have to do that. Because there's a set rule in the Premier League where it's um, where it's you know a specific size. Um, now, if if you didn't notice there, United actually, Man United actually went in for Wesley Schneider. Now, of course, I've had this a lot, and it's becoming a bit like FIFA. Really, <laughs> I'm getting a bit angry there because a player got injured. I mean, I hope this isn't the save where everyone gets injured, literally everyone. But there's our second signing I think like official you know pay, paid with money signing um, Joe Dudgeon I hope I hope he can do well in the club that guy's face is amazing I'm sorry but it's just uh, look at it the smile on his face he's so chirpy he's so happy to be under my my control that sounded really weird anyway moving on from the um Sorry if you hear that noise then. You know, unprofessionalism and all that. <laughs> You've got to, you know, keep keep it up there. Um, now, I did decide to play Joe Dudgeon in this preseason friendly, you know, to see what he's like. Um, and there's the starting lineup. And there's uh, Button in goal. And there's also McCormack, Dean, Craig, Dudgeon. You know, all, all the. Uh, Odibarjo, I mean, you'll, you'll see it again in a minute, but um, the team that we were actually playing, I've never actually heard of them, unfortunately. Um, so, you know, I didn't really bother looking at their team as if to say, oh, just, they're going to be hard to play because I've never really heard of them before. But um, here we are doing the uh, team talk. I was going to say press conference then. Um, but uh, here we go, kick off. Um, now this game, obviously, I was, as I said, I was coming into it thinking, oh, this is going to be easy because I've never actually heard of the team before. But they were actually quite good, and I was actually quite surprised at how good they were. I mean, they were. I mean, they did go ahead. I think I can't remember because I, I did this uh, a couple of days ago. Um, and as you can see here, they're passing it around quite a lot actually, and they they were just 
I don't know what what was wrong with with our team. You weren't closing them down properly. I mean, look. I mean, and then and then that and then that save. I was I was so distraught with that save. It was just I was going mental. I could have literally broken my computer monitor. That was just an awful. Why would you do that? I mean, he just he just decides to do that. That's why I'm getting a new goalkeeper, guys. Because that will keep happening if I'm not careful, and I don't want it to keep happening because it's you know it's it's, it's an important season for Brentford. You know, I think they got promoted last season in real life. Well, the season before the one that just happened into the championship. So I don't know. But there was there were long periods in this game where it, it, nothing was happening. Literally, I think the go oh no. Oh yeah, that so that was one of the better saves by Putin. I mean, it wasn't really a hard thing to do. Um, and the goal, the kickoff, the goal, and this were the only highlights in the first half. I mean, that was a very un unorthodox one too there between our two players. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what they were doing, to be honest. Ooh, voice break. Um, so I hope you know this pre this uh, what you call it pre commentary not pre commentary post commentary there we go is all right because this is the first one that I've ever done so I don't really know what to do when it comes to doing a post commentary but um, as as we kicked off the second half you know I was quite angry but satisfied at the same time. Because we'd had better, more chances, you know, and um, it was kind of like we we weren't putting them away, we weren't being clinical enough, and I was getting quite annoyed at that, and I was quite, you know, <laughs> the assistant manager was like, tell them they've been all right, and I was like, no, I'm telling them they've been crap, and it did seem to work to be honest, because there were more highlights of us actually attacking in second half. And then that that opposite, how how did we not score there? I mean, please tell me in the comment section below how we did not score. I mean, it was just, I was, I was my and my mind was blown by that, literally blown. It's just I mean, it's a good save by the goalkeeper, but then again, we should have scored. And then I decided to make a couple of substitutions. Because, you know, as you can see there, people are getting tired. Um, Oli Barjo and McLeod, or, M or McLeod, or however you say that name, were getting tired. So I just had to make three substitutions. Of course, because it is a friendly, you can make as many substitutions as you want. Um, but I decided, hey, why not just make three? Because, YOLO. <laughs> oh God, did I really just say YOLO? Anyway, um... Douglas on the ball. Uh, we, did, we did actually play some good football. He's Joe Dudgeon, by the way, getting almost a debut assist. I mean, it would have been nice for him, considering he's a left back. But um, and then this happened. I mean, like, why? I was just, I'm seriously get frustrated with this. Why would you pass it back? It's like real life. I mean, I'm a Man United fan. Go on. Oh, there's that goal. That strike by Quezzi Appia. Oh my god. I literally went to get some clean underwear after that. Because even the cameraman couldn't keep up. Even when it was in slow motion. Like, wow. That was probably the most powerful shot I've ever seen from someone like that. I mean, it was mind blown. Literally blown. But, um, that'll be the end of the game there and also the end of the episode so if you did enjoy this episode please do leave a like and a comment and please leave comments suggesting uh, what transfers I can get and um, I shall see you all in the next episode goodbye